Salvete spectators, it's Maspus. Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. We are in... what's it called? Black Meadow on our way to Kaid Nua, where our main story should progress. We want to find some answers with some... Oh god. With a certain... I don't know how his name... Uh, elder or... Intelligent man, I should say. But here we have to fight a lot of wichts first. I think it's better for you to stay in the back. So, like this. <laughs> Perfect opportunity for you to do this. Right again. Nice. So they are no trouble at all. Right. Very easy to kill, but they don't drop anything, unfortunately. So. Uh oh. More, uh, well, it's one wheat. Nice. Is this one sleeping? Perhaps a little rest is in order. What? You're talking about. No rest for you. Okay, what, what does it say here? Destroyed card. Interesting. This overturned card bristles with crossbow bolts. Bloodstained star can decrack wooden slats. Interesting. But I don't think it has anything... Well, what do we have here? A spare bedroll is laid out in this tent, but there's no other sign of kit. There's blood, of course. Fine hunting bow. Speed is fast. So maybe this is a good alternative to my crossbow. What are these guys? Did they get slain by spiders? Mm. Let's select a hunting bow for... Well, what do we have? We have a fine arbalest. Two normal arbalests and a fine crossbow. So I think I'm gonna give the fine arbalest... To... Durance, because he they use the crossbow F more often and he gets the fine hunting bow. Because these guys pretty much always have their melee weapons. Alright. Yeah. Wait. We still need a backup though. Well. Arbalest. The Arbalest is still better than the fine crossbow, right? Very slow though, and it's only slow. 24, 35, 20... No, the crossbow... The fine crossbow is better than the arbalest. I'm pretty sure of it. He has the arbalest, but the arbalest is definitely better than the crossbow. Okay. Hey. You get all your... What? ...ranged weapons, yeah. get into sneaky Light, mode. Flame and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Okay, maybe this was a bit overkill. I think we all have to go in melee here. You get a slam over there. You get a slam on the big guy. You also attack the big guy. Sweet. And you get your... How may I help? This one in. Another one on the two big guys. Grimoire slam over there. You get a slam there. Maybe help him out. Pretty please. Okay. Fine. Oh, I could use a wee kip. Rice and coppers. Yeah. So I think these hunters just got overwhelmed by the spiders. No big story behind that. Uh-oh, what do we have? Oh, it's, it's just wichts. Let's I'm go. a little bit sloppy there. You attack with your ranged weapons. <laughs> what? Uh, this wasn't what I wanted to do. 
you actually do a slam. Hey. Another one. There, there's one left. Okay, now they're gone. Ooh, they dropped something actually. Vessel. Oh, they are vessels. Right. Okay, so a vessel is just another name right. for a zombie, I guess. Huh? Ooh, there's a corpse over there. Parwood and clothing, Vulvano boots. I'm not sure if I've seen this before. Well, let's see. Where do boots show? Though never as famed as he would claim, the Radiant Explorer Bulvano was known as an eccentric. There we go. Who wished to see the world. Where possible, he traveled by foot, wishing to gain a local's appreciation for the sights, sounds, and smells of the land he passed through. In practice, however, Fulvano often claimed that his explorations proved only that the world outside of the Radiant Republics was a foul, smelly place that paled in comparison to his homeland. This pair of boots is said to have belonged to Vulvano, and the initials burned into the leather would seem to bear that out. Vulvano was very particular about his boots, for they had to endure a great deal of use, and they were constructed to be as hardy as the wearer. So, constitution plus for me, so I'm gonna wear them, of course. Yeah. Hey, wait, uh, but uh, I don't think this means that this guy is Vulvano, or... Maybe he is? I'm not sure. Would make sense. Is there something else over here? A fruit. What the hell? Okay, this seems to be more interesting there. Forest troll. You keep your distance. Huh? Okay, we just saw two guys bound to a, a wreck or whatever that was. Hmm. Uh, I don't suppose we could rest a spell. Why do you always keep repeating that? So that's very interesting, but I'm not sure if this has any implication. The bones feel as hard as stone, yet surprisingly light. Is this a dragon? Looks like it. Complete with wings and stuff. Hey. There's another troll. Alright. Yeah. Let's do this the hey. sneaky way with yes. ranged. Mm. Mm. Shh. Let's go! Well, this didn't take too much damage, so they are pretty immune to ranged, it seems. You two keep shooting. You get your slam in. Okay, slam. Attack there. Mage. Yes. Interesting. So this one is still not down. Get another slam. You get to okay. heal yourself. Attack there. You maybe change to melee. Because you have a fire damage attack and I think they're weak to fire. This troll is still not down. Now he is. Another slam there. You have the, the melee attack storm there. Okay, he exploded right away. Just take take them down slowly. Sweet. 
So a tactic advantage could be to keep Durance in the second row because he has higher range. Uh. I don't know. What's in the top right corner there? Oh! Oh, 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 this seems pretty dangerous. Two forest lurkers we have here. Here, get a knockdown. In view over here. Our, we're getting dangerously low on health. That's That has to be said. You just attack there. Get your slam. Get another melee attack in there. With this. You just Not attack normally. He sat down on his ass. Another one. Okay, just attack normally. We have to be careful, our main character is on low health. He sat down again. So maybe you use your second win. Well, get this one in. Uh oh, Durin's got knocked down. That's very nice. Just attack there normally. Grind it down. That's not very helpful. Oh, we're making no damage at all here. Oh no, you keep meleeing. You do the melee attack and get a slam. Because the archery doesn't do anything, you get your radiance. Once per encounter, yeah sure. Wow, this was... oh my god, this was close. Holy crap. Hey. Okay. Sweet, he finally died. Okay. This was closer than I would like. Oh, I could use a wee kip. What do they drop? Awakened wood. This regular chunk of wood seems to hold a trace of life within. So yeah. we can't use our bindings anymore. Hey. So I think it's pretty much time to hmm. do a what's it called? A camp. What is this? What? Why can't I read that? Up around these ancient bones, shrouding this monument to Galabane beneath their leaves. I'm not sure if this is a mistake, but I can't read the top corner here. Seems to be some kind of altar. Ah, trees and shrubs have grown. Okay, interesting. Let's see, we have not... So, uh, scouted out the middle. I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna do a rest here because my party is pretty much down. Let's see. Damage. I don't know what this means. Maybe if two attack one, but most of the time we fight against more than more than our number of enemies. So, of course, this one I don't know what will be there. So, heal multiplier is actually. I think damage reduction is still the best. Maybe heal multiplier. Yeah, whatever. Let's see about the nice fire there. Alright. This game actually reminds me a lot of Robin Hood. I, I said that before, but... Oh, we are at daybreak now. So let's directly... Ooh, there's some interesting burnt ground. I wonder what that's about. Blood moss. And it's. There are these dragons everywhere. That's interesting. Another forest troll. Maybe not Durance in the center there. Oh god. Holy shit! This took a lot of stamina. Okay, just grind him down. Sweet. Mm. Completely exploded there. Troll mm. hide. 
Aldurance has low endurance, <laughs> funnily. Okay. Well, with, with daylight, this looks much nicer now, doesn't it? There is another way up north, so there should be some something more interesting in the center of the map there. Burned lady. Right. It looks maybe like a battlefield where dragons once battled and therefore everything is still scorched. I'm not sure. But no, it doesn't look like there is anything in the center. Except two dragons and a huge... Well... Another forest troll. You get your slams in. Ah. Are these a good idea? I think so. I, I like this. This is one of my favorite a a actions, actually. Here we go. So, to move further to Kaidnua, we have to go west. Oh, east, I'm sorry. Shrine of Galawain. Of course, Galloway was one of King Arthur's knights, so I'm not sure if this has anything to do with it. It's very interesting, this huge, like, scorched land. Let's go to Kaidnua. Well, 18 hours, that's a long journey. Building the Warden's Lodge in your stronghold grants access to a variety of bon bounties. Bounty quests will challenge in combat encounters that yield valuable rewards. Okay, I I'm already excited about this whole... Fortress mechanic. Enter the keep. I wonder what uh, what the, the whole thing here holds. Kana. Does he have a musket? Just off the side of the path into Kaidnua stands an imposing figure. A tall Thick set or mower, clad in worn armor and peering up at the outer walls of the keep. In his hand is a small piece of charcoal and it works feverishly at taking notes upon a small crap of paper. More than once he has to reach up to prevent his colorful cap from falling off his head as he gazes upwards. What are you doing over there? The man looks over at you. Blinking in surprise, his face splits in a wide and very toothy grin, and he waves the parchment in greeting. Telling time, if I'm honest. I've already walked the perimeter twice. There are names scratched upon some of the bricks, just there. Workers and masons, I expect. Carving a little immortality for themselves. He looks up at the wall again, expression fond. It's a fine keep, Kaidnua. Two centuries to its name and abandoned for nearly as long. But the truly interesting part is in there, and I haven't had much luck in reaching the keep itself. I hoped to find the master of this place, a man by the name of Meerwald, but it seems that he either holds his privacy most dear, or else has been devoured by his house guests. Interesting, we are looking for him as well. Why haven't you gone inside? Well, it's just that there are a great many dangerous creatures between the Keep and I. I did make an attempt, of course, and I was chased away by dark spirits. What do you want from Merwold? Knowledge. <laughs> or, to be less clever about it, a certain text. I've come in search of a great treasure, you see. Not gold or silver, but the Tanvi Oratoa. You might call it the Book of Virtues. It's a sacred text of Rawatai. But we possess only a small fragment of it. A year. I've turned in search of the rest. And I found evidence suggesting that the original lies there, beneath the keep. I want to ask Merwold if he knows of it. And you, my friend. Why are you here? Hmm. I too wish to speak of Merwold. Doesn't uh, lie completely, but I don't want to tell him everything. Truly, then perhaps we can help one another. The grounds are infested with all manners of beasts. 
I've never seen the like. I didn't want to risk it alone, but you seem capable. Together, I'm sure we could manage it. And then we can both ask our questions of Marebold. Can't help you. You're on your own. Le yeah, let's go to meet, meet Meryl then, of course. Excellent. Lead on, my friend, and I will be at your heels. Ah, wait. Speaking of that, I ought to warn you first. Wondrous teeth, I nearly forgot. I have, at times, been followed. It began in Adir, and in Exomital they attacked outright. I believe they do not wish for me to find what I am looking for. I say believe. But I have been told as much by one of my would-be assassins. <laughs> I paid them little mind. Humorless swords in long robes. But it's why I bought the sword, you see. And it's only fair that you should know. <laughs> what are a few assassins between friends? <laughs> I'm glad you're not discouraged. Come then. Who knows what we will find inside? So apparently we can have more than four people in our party. That's interesting. Following your lead. And what this guy is about, we will find out in the next episode. For now, I thank you for watching. And his leveling and his characteristics we'll see about soon. Have a nice day.